Hey everyone, I'm back and today we're going to be talking about Mission Impossible 3 and uh, this movie is directed by J.J. Abrams and came out in 2006 and this used to be my favorite out of all of the Mission Impossible movies just because I liked uh, what was going on and I really enjoyed the ending and uh, there were things that I remembered about this movie specifically that stood out to me a lot and rewatching it I wasn't great unfortunately to summarize uh, my overall thoughts on this movie i like the second half a lot more than i like the first half i'm actually not uh, huge on the first half of this movie at all i found it to be really boring and i didn't really care what was going on and there was one action scene that i kind of liked it was a bit of a heist and it it was fun and uh, Pretty much everything in the last hour was really entertaining and it was like non-stop action and it was so much fun for me and I thoroughly enjoyed it. But the parts that I don't really like are really what hold this movie back for me and there were definitely parts where I was legitimately bored. So in this movie, Ethan Hunt, played by Tom Cruise, he is engaged and eventually gets married. And he's uh, dealing with uh, the fact that uh, he's now married and uh, he has a wife and uh, now his enemies can get to her and inevitably kidnap her or kill her. And uh, he, he has to deal with that. And I thought that was the most interesting thing that happened in this movie, just conceptually. But the way they handle it in the movie is very in your face. And there's even a line that I really just hated. And it was something like, good thing about uh, being a spy is that uh, we can't afford to fall in love or something like that. And uh, Luther is just uh, talking to Ethan Hunt uh, how like how bad it is uh, to uh, get married. And eventually he just says that, I, I'm married. And then he just uh, says, congratulations, after like a 10 second pause. <laughs> and that was kind of funny. I also liked uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman in this movie a lot, but his character doesn't really have much to him. And the dialogue in the movie isn't really great either. So that's also what's kind of holding him back from doing anything really great, is that he doesn't really have much to work with. In terms of uh, how this movie looks, it's kind of a mixed bag. Sometimes it looks fine and there are, are a couple of memorable shots to me, like towards the end, uh, because they were really long. And I like that about the movie, but sometimes it's a little too oversaturated for my liking and it just looked like a Michael Bay movie more than anything else and it just didn't look good to me. The action is kind of hit or miss. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not. There's a an action scene on a bridge, and I thought that was the worst action scene in the movie because I just didn't care what was going on. And I kind of knew it was going to happen because the movie opens up uh, with a scene that takes place towards the end of the film, and I thought that was dumb because it just spoils uh, a lot of my investment uh, towards this movie. Because I know it's going to happen because you just told me what was going to happen. Now I'm just supposed to feel tension. Why? <laughs> it's like I, I don't understand what I'm supposed to feel because you just showed me what is going to happen uh, towards the end of the movie. And from that point on, I don't know what's going to happen. And that's probably why that last act of the movie works so well for me. It's just that... Everything before it is kind of dull because you've spoiled a lot for me. Without getting into spoilers, I just wanted to mention the plot. I'm not going to describe it that much. I'm just going to say this about it. It's very convoluted and just... I found myself just not understanding what was going on in quite a few points in the movie. Because I just... I had such a hard time understanding what I was supposed to care about or follow. And that's about all I have to say about Mission Impossible 3. The things I like the most about it are in the third act, and the performances are good, and there's some fun scenes in this movie, but overall it's kind of a mixed bag for me. 
There's things I like, there's things I don't like. It's kind of the opposite of Mission Impossible 2, where it was kind of just, from memory, it was uh, very bland. This one has uh, things that I really don't like about it and things that I really like about it. So it's one of those movies, and you you could watch this movie. There's nothing offensive about it. It's just kind of a mess for me. And with all that being said, I'm going to give Mission Impossible 3 a 5 out of 10. Thank you for watching my videos. As always, if you enjoyed this review, be sure to leave a like and comment down below what you thought of Mission Impossible 3 and my social media links. They will all be in the description, so follow me there. And last but not least, subscribe to be a part of Foley Nation, and I'll see you when I get my next review up, and that is going to be for Don't Look Up. So look forward to that, but until I get that up, thank you for watching and have a great day.